The Global Entrepreneurship Week is a decade-old tradition of enterprise-oriented institutions across about 170 countries. This year, the event focuses on the need for disruptive innovation for technology in national development, and the Lagos event attracted over 500 youth core members. What are we doing? Bringing people to compete favorably with themselves in their different sectors. Millions of entrepreneurs are being encouraged here to connect, to collaborate, and to meet mentors and investors who can help them start their businesses and inspire them. As the keynote speaker, the chairman of the Broadcasting Organizations of Nigeria and chairman Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo, drills down on how a youth entrepreneur can be disruptively innovative. The youth must have a right attitude. The attitude should be one of goal orientation. The youth should be able to be purposeful and not be carried away by the enticement of the now, of the moment. An eye on the future helps the drive for more work, hunger, which can be rewarding at most times. Mr. Momo supports the belief that the youth holds the future of any nation, a group that must not be neglected in critical nation building. Youth is synonymous with being young. And being young it's a representation for newness, a representation for freshness, and for a commencement. Some may be quick to point out that the state of the nation's youth may not necessarily be the sole yardstick for growth. That's correct. But it stays as a significant factor in the assessment of productivity and efficiency. Discussants of the keynote presentation share some tips on how youths can navigate the challenges of enterprise startups. I studied G4S. It is a security company like me. They had 625,000 staff. Their turnover in 2011 was 7.4 billion pounds, equivalent of 2.59 trillion naira. I like numbers. If you don't like numbers, you cannot be rich. The NYSC is a national orientation program. Orientation for national mentality thinking. That is the first thing the NYSC should do. It should give us a nationalistic thinking. Not everybody should be an entrepreneur. Not everybody should own their own business. Some people need levels of comfort moving forward. And I, I, I personally don't need comfort right now. How do the young people here in this room with very bright, amazing ideas, despite the environment, transition a lot of ideas to sustainable and viable businesses? That's the question. The event also features a pitching program with three youth core members emerging as winners for best business ideas and walking away with cash prizes ranging from 200,000 to 500,000 naira. When the Global Entrepreneurship Week closes this weekend, these youths will be well on their way to becoming great entrepreneurs. Temple Ashaju, Channels Television News.